one is Isaki. So I decided to go ahead and answer some of your frequently asked questions that I normally find on my Lolita videos. Um, so I just kind of went through them and chose the questions I get repeated over and over again. That way it's all compiled into one video and I don't have to keep answering because <laughs> it kind of adds up eventually. And it's really sad that some of these questions are even asked. I really don't think they should be asked. But when we get to them, I'll kind of explain why and everything. So I'm going to try to go through this a little bit quickly because we have a lot of questions. And I don't really think a lot of them really need to go into too much detail. So, let's get to it. So, do I need to wear a wig to be a Lolita? No. A wig is technically an accessory. There are some Lolitas out there who think, Oh, you're not Lolita if you don't wear a wig. And that's not true. You do not need to wear a wig to wear to be Lolita. Do I need to wear a petticoat? Yes. Now that is essential. You do need to have a petticoat underneath your dress. Although some people will say if you are, there is a bird in the tree. If, <laughs> if you are doing casual Lolita, you can wear a smaller petticoat. Some will even not wear a petticoat. Um, I know if I'm running around out and I don't want to have my dress accidentally get messed up or anything, I won't wear a petticoat um, like I did in the tattoo video. Flats, acceptable shoes in Lolita, what about boots? Yes, I have seen many, many, many Lolitas wear flats, especially because on meets you tend to walk a lot. If you are going somewhere where it's like a museum or an art gallery or that kind of thing, or here when you walk the strip sometimes, your feet get really, really sore eventually. The Lolitas will eventually switch to flats. They'll have one pair of shoes for like photos, and then they'll switch to flats. I've even seen some Lolitas wear flats the whole time. Before I got Mary Jane's, I wore flats. Uh, boots, yes, but it depends on what type of boot style. I'll put some pictures here to show you what kind of boots I'm talking about. If I get a cosplay Lolita dress, is that okay? No. You cannot say that is Lolita fashion. It would just be cosplay. You don't wear cosplay items for Lolita fashion. Cosplay, Lolita fashion, two totally different worlds. Um, the cosplay grade of things are not really up to par for Lolita standards as well. Um, and I say standards not to be like, er, criticizing that kind of thing. It's just that they look really tacky compared to what we like to wear in Lolita fashion. It's like trying to wear a Halloween costume every day, so unless you're actually a Power Ranger, you wouldn't do that. So, no cosplay Lolita stuff for actual Lolita fashion. I'm this type of body shape, I'm this age, and I am this skin tone, can I still be Lolita? This is the, these questions right here, I get these three questions a lot, like, I'm, uh, these questions should not be asked. You should not have to even think to ask them. No matter what you are, should not define what fashion style you do. Sure, you can learn what uh, cuts and what colors are flattering to you, but just because of your skin tone or because you're bigger or smaller or taller or shorter or whatever, or you're something 30 years old, 12 years old, I know Lolita's all over the age range, should not define that you cannot do a certain fashion style. Do what you love. So there are some people out there who try to say, Oh, you're too big for Lolita. Screw them. You're too old for Lolita. Screw them. Because your happiness is what matters and that should come first. Okay? Never, 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 ever, ever ask if you can do something because of one of these things. Never. Where can I buy Lolita dresses? I am not going to answer this. Join a group on Facebook. Join um, your community. Google. Lolita brands, there are just too many sites, too many things out there for me to actually give you a good answer. And I'm not going to sit down and list them all. So go to the groups, um, go to the new releases groups. Usually if they show a new release photo, there's usually a link of where you can buy it or um, pre-order it or blah blah blah. I'm so not going to answer that one ever. <laughs> How do I tell my family about Lolita? I have a video about that. Go watch it. I'm a plus size girl, where can I buy Lolita dresses? I'm kind of not the person to answer this question. I get this kind of often. I'm really, really tiny. So I don't have that issue. I'm sorry. I do have a little bit of issue because I'm not super flat up here. Um, I've heard the answer though a lot of times being body line, but I do know someone who is a little bit plus sized 
um, and wear his brand name. So you really just have to look for what is stretchable, what is has assuring, what has really what can be laced what can be loosened with like the corset type of lacing those kind of things you want to be aware of um, so I mean you can ask that question below see if anyone else answers unfortunately that car that car that car unfortunately I can't give you the best answer for that question how do I talk to another Lolita? You go up and be like, hey, how you doing? How do I start Lolita? I honestly don't understand this question and I get it kind of often. Um, you just put on a dress and you go outside and you're starting Lolita. You just, I, I just jumped right in. I just said, hey, I like this. I'm going to do it. My mom already saw the fashion, so she already kind of knew what it was. She never thought it was anything bad, really. So you just, you just jump right in. Just do it like Nike. Don't let your dreams be dreams or whatever it is. <laughs> I'm poor, can I be Lolita? Yes. You want to look at Lace Market for reselling and um, Bodyline has a couple pieces but Taobao is going to be your friend with those things. And uh, look at the indie brands. Like You can get really, really nice prints for not too much money. Is it okay to buy replicas? This is gonna be up to you and how you feel about things. Some people will say, absolutely not. Some people will say, if that's what you can afford, okay. But eventually, when you can't afford things, to go ahead and buy brand. So, again, it's up to you how you feel about things. I'm not gonna be that asshole who says, don't ever do this, 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 and this. I wear a uniform to school. How can I make it Lolita? What about wearing Lolita work? I have a video about wearing the leader to work. Go check it out. My Lolita playlist will be below. Um, wearing Lolita to school. I've answered this many, many questions or many, many times. Um, like back on like Gaia Online and stuff, I used to be really big about like helping people get in Lolita fashion and blah, blah, blah. Basically, get creative. Every school uniform um, has or every school has different rules about their uniforms. You know what you can get away with and what you can't get away with. So take what you can get away with and incorporate, take those Lolita items, headdresses, socks, whatever, and do them. You got a small petty that you can put underneath a skirt if you wear a skirt, do it. Get creative. Just remember, green is not a creative color. Thumbs up if you get the reference. I want to be a Lolita, but I'm shy, IDK, what to do. Any tips? Again, just do it. Sometimes you have to step out of your comfort zone. I'm very shy. I'm very socially awkward. I've talked about these kind of things in another video. Again, check out my Lolita playlist. You just have to decide that you want to be happy doing something and you just got to do it. You can't, like for me, example, if I think about something too much, I won't do it. I'll like freeze up and I won't do it. So I just have to kind of jump right in and say, I'm just going to do it. And sometimes you might have to be like that. If Lolita fashion is really what makes you happy, don't let anyone else or anything else stop you from doing what makes you happy because Lolita fashion doesn't hurt anyone. It's nothing bad. It's absolutely nothing bad at all. So, just, I know it's hard to try something new, especially because it's so different. And when you have um, certain kinds of anxiety, you think everyone's like staring at you and saying negative things. And I understand that. And it's really, really hard. You kind of just have to train yourself to block it out and just focus on the good. <laughs> so these are some of the most frequently asked questions that I've gotten. Hopefully these answers will help you out. They're mainly for people who are new to Lolita fashion. If you have any other questions that are not answered in my videos and that have not been answered here, please write them down below. I'll do them in another FAQ Lolita if I get enough. So I think that's all for this episode. Um, sorry for talking pretty fast. Like I said, I wanted to keep this kind of short and sweet because there were so many questions. But please subscribe for future videos. I do videos every week. And yeah, may the force be with you. Thanks for watching. And as Kwai Patin says, have fun with fashion. Bye! Real quick. So one of the questions that I did answer here was how do I tell my family about Lolita? I do have a video on that. But I do know that some people still have a really hard time um, just coming up and saying, Hey, I like this. Know, what do you think about it? 
and a lot of uh, parents and family members will kind of just jump to wrong conclusions about it, especially because of the name. So if you guys want, I will create a video for uh, showing your family and parents and friends or whatever. So if you want that, comment below and I'll think about the things to say and write it all up and do that. So that way maybe it will just be a little bit easier for you to come out and say that I like this type of fashion. Let me know if you guys would like that. I'd be more than happy to do it for you. Okay, bye! If I get a cosplay... If I get a cosplay little bit of... Now I'm eating cat fur. <laughs> really? No, I'm eating my own hair. If I got a cosplay... I cannot say this sentence. Which is technically a question. I...